Hey guys, how are we doing? We are playing a brand new game today. Welcome to Z Shelter Survival. How are we doing, guys? So, I've been seeing this game pop up around uh, the old YouTube here from time to time, and a few um, YouTubers are actually playing this game. So, I thought, you know what? I'll check it out for myself, see what it's all about, and hopefully you guys, um, you know, are interested in me playing more of this game. So, if you guys are, let me know by hitting that like button down below. But also make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell if you haven't done so already if you guys are new to my channel but most definitely comment down below tell me a little bit more about the game because i really want to hear it from you guys as well um and if there's any tips or tricks or anything like that what i should be looking at early on in game please let me know but what we've got here at the moment is pretty much like any other standard mobile survivor game You've got your play here, um, so it's got a little bit of food. It's actually got some weapons, which is kind of kind of nice to have. Usually, you go over to you know um, like a broken uh, car or cart or whatever that might be, depending on your survival games, and you pretty much find them at the start, which is kind of neat. But we've got also a German Shepherd. How cool is that? So we've actually got a little dog to um, to start playing our little adventure with, which is amazing. So um, yeah, happy days with that, guys. But what we're going to do is we might just start grabbing some basic items here. Because, uh, you know, who knows if we're going to be needing something like this, um, you know, at any sort of particular moment. Uh, we've got this little thing over here. Uh, place a flag in a safe place. All right, well, I'm guessing we're going to have to do that somewhere. Um, all right, I don't know. Do we do a bam smap in the middle here? Cool. Um, okay. So apparently we're supposed to attack someone, I guess. We're not going to go ahead and do that just now, so we're going to leave that. Um, and we've got a little robot here. And there's a little bunny that just ran right past us. Great. But, hello, Mr. Robot. Okay. So, the robot can recognize the activation material in the backpack automatically, activates by collecting all the required material. So, we can actually build ourselves a robot. That's cool. So, obviously, we can't do that just now, but for now, let's um, continue gathering some items here and there. And by the looks of things, we've already got a pre base. Here's a, a player that we've got here, just randomly. And let's just randomly take him out. And we'll um, take all of his stuff. Why not? And this appears to be our, our startup base. That's cool. So with that, um, let's go into our inventory here. Because I want to drop that down. Because why the hell not? So let's get out of that. And he is telling me that he does um, a stink, which is fine. You can actually see the little stink lines here. Okay, so that's just a little, um, like a little deer. And I can see a zombie coming our way. Let's take this fella out. Two hits, that's all that's required. And they look like they're just coming through now. So this is probably the start of how the sort of the game sort of plays out. Uh, so let's just take everything here. Um, okay. So these appear to be, yep. <laughs> Whoops, my bad. Sorry, little rabbit. Let's just take it. And what else do we have over here? So, okay. So we've got like a little kennel uh, for our dog here. So we've got some food that we can drop in. So all these things will suffice and pretty much uh, heal up our little dog. Mating is coming soon, okay. So we'll have the ability to breed puppies. So a lot of you guys, if you've played the Last Day on Earth game there, then you'll be pretty much familiar um, with that. I'm just gonna kill this thing here because he's not yet yeah, doing anything for himself and I may as well. All right, so mission accomplished. So I've accomplished that, that's all good. I just wanted to say, you know, take a little bit of a discovery path down here. We've got 
Okay, so you can reposition it, so that's fine. Let's just leave it as it is. Um, yeah, so I'll just take this time now just to sort of discover the area around me, if there's anything I should be made aware of. Um, okay, I think of HG, zombies will come. Okay, so I guess that's a good thing to sort of note as well in the game. So you gotta keep yourself uh, clean and hygienic. Um, we've got ourselves the, the motorcycle here that we can complete. It's already started here, so I'm guessing over time, if we sort of look at that, okay, so it sort of tells us where we can sort of go to obtain these certain materials, which is good. I'm actually liking some of the past couple of zombie game, uh, survival games that I've played that. It tells you where and which locations that you can, that you've got the likelihood of finding these sort of things, which is great. Um, okay. So basically all here, pretty much we are just sort of just finding our way here this looks like possibly uh no i don't want to but basically that could be like you know for like a little um like a little boat um like a little port there that you can um sort of you know i guess later on in game that you can have a little boat that you can sail and we've got some other little raw material so that's pretty much it there's really not too much around here uh let's see if there's anything well we've got these okay so i'm guessing okay so these are just all little supplies that i guess we can um pretty much claim they do appear in your inventory as well so just got to be careful with that it's a little workbench here um okay oh wow okay so decent amount of loot all right i don't know if i want to well i want to equip that oh okay let's not equip that so i'm guessing this is our base now because i mean i was able to drop down certain things so yeah i'm guessing that's the case um okay well let's just keep that i'll probably keep that for healing properties um guy is hungry so let's just eat that pumpkin up and we'll eat that all right so fine um let's go and check out a zone i guess and we'll um yeah tackle on whatever is going to be made what's this leave the current map and enter the big map okay and i guess you can yeah take off that little reminder but i'll just leave it there for now just want to make sure that is our actual base i'm, I'm have, i've got a feeling it is Ooh, all right so there's airdrop supplies we can definitely run over there now this is basically the the over map All right, so basically, yeah, that looks like it's our base. All right. And then we've got a few things going over here. All right, so it looks like there is some uh, sparse woods there, likely drop rate of items. So I'm guessing the one skulls are the easy zones. Yeah, okay, so there's two, two skull zone over here, standard mine. So there's there's a few requirements that we need to open, um, you know, unlock. So conditions to go there, I guess. We've got the villa. So it's telling us that we do need to go down to this here, and obviously there should be um, like a little boss there. I'm assuming once we've cleared that, I think it, it'll open up other avenues here for us to sort of discover. Um, that looks like a player's base, okay. So like an NPC base, and yeah, so on and so forth. And I believe this game went through a major update not long ago as well. So we've got this new zone over here, but you need the helicopter to um, to get over here. So they opened up a hospital, I believe, which was the newer zone. So yeah, so you've got that. And that doesn't appear to be ready yet, but that's the, that's the, uh, the helicopter. So the departure zone. So it, we definitely won't be able to go um, there anytime soon, but for now, um, yeah, that, that looks like it's pretty much it over here. 
and that's our little base over here and petrol station yep so we can actually go over there so that won't be a, a problem we've got the little stone uh, zone happening over there and we've got that the archery range which looks like we can jump over which is good and we can actually go to um, this NPC which is cool but I really want to tackle the the time sensitive event so let's go ahead and do that and we'll check it out see what it's all about hopefully um, we'll get some decent loot but we'll see all right so we've got these zombie guys here and he actually has a decent amount of oh I should actually run out because <laughs> Wow, that was, um, that was pretty full on. Okay, wow, so we've just got events popping up everywhere. Oh my goodness, okay. Um, what I want to do first is I want to heal up because, yeah, my dude here, not going to survive. Not going to lie to you. And I don't think that heals over time, which is not a good thing. Um, okay, well, you know what, I better sort of claim some of these things as well uh any food and things like that i'll be definitely wanting to um uh claim absolutely there goes all my food if i go back in here will that thing come at me again which i'm guessing that's going to be the case so if i do look a little bit of a crouch crouch thing we'll um we'll sort of make our way in Okay, so he's actually coming for me. How much attack did I get? Uh, I didn't get that much attack on him either. So, yeah, this is definitely not good. So, oh my god, what, what is that? Oh my god. Okay, so, alright, right off the bat, guys. Um, probably not the best zone to run into. Yeah, I'm going to need some better uh, equipment. Definitely don't want to uh waste any life in here all right so there's a deal there's a weapons dealer and we can go over there and do trades which is kind of neat um yeah guys so uh, so this event here um probably not the best thing on why don't i just jump back in okay so we're gonna run back home anyway i don't know why i did that but anyway yeah i mean he's gonna come back after me so let's um Let's go over to the airplane. Do I have enough energy for the airplane? So it looks like we do. So it looks like they just take it down in one increments of your energy there. But that was ridiculous. I hope there's not many uh, zombies down here. Hopefully it's just going to be an easy zone for us to jump into. Really do. Okay. Hopefully, we're, we're friendly here, but I think this sort of um, hurts us more because we've got so because our um, our player here is on the um, on the stickier pathway here. So probably not the best thing, but but it appears this is like the the last day on Earth um, event. So when you first start off, um, you do get these. Oh Jesus! Oh my God! All right. Um, Okay. All right, a little warning might have, been, might have been a little bit helpful, but oh my goodness. Yeah, okay, so be very careful. Explosions happen everywhere here. All right. Uh, yeah, let's just take all. Yeah. So as I was saying before, so when you first start, say last day on Earth, you get the, the whole uh, plane crash event virtually uh, very little to no zombies whatsoever and um, yeah you just loot up the place like crazy take as much as you can run back run forth if you run out of inventory so yeah you know what I'm just gonna take maximum uh, advantage of all this and try not to get myself killed hopefully and I just hope there's no no one in the zone here going to take me out that's like beforehand that was ridiculous 
All right, um, so, so far, so good. I'm just going to scour the area around here just, just to see if there's anything else that I need to, um, you know, point my attention to, and hopefully no one comes out here and kills me. Uh, let's see. Okay, well, that's pretty much it. Okay, so nothing too crazy, but loot nonetheless, so definitely worth your while to try and come down here if you can and just grab anything and everything so yeah I don't think you can there's nothing in here anyway you've already taken out everything so um that's fine Oop. yeah all right let's just move away from here let's see what we got what's this it's a cage okay we've got a rusty bucket a camera we've got some food for our dog which is a good thing we've got some ammo which is good springs scrap iron and it looks like we've got some glue okay all right so look i think that's probably a good successful run so let's run back home and let's uh dr drop all this off i guess and we might just end up visiting the little pine zone here or maybe just this thing over here i'm not too sure we'll, we'll work it out so, we've got an expected attack in the next 40 minutes. Well, that's not good. Okay, a bigger, more durable. Okay, so that's cool. Uh, a zombie wave is coming. Yes, I know. So, let's uh, just drop off everything that I just found here before. Definitely don't need that or that all that I might just bring that food over to the puppy here yes he needs a shower I don't think I've got a shower that I can make or have here at the moment but I'll check the all right so if I drop food into here obviously he's going to be able to do attacks and things like that so I might just leave that out from for the moment um, okay so what do we got here all right so we've got some crafting here well this is in the shop that you can purchase things by the looks of things so you've got you know guns and things like that or you've got the design of it okay so basically this is where we've got all the bits and pieces so the shower I can't really craft that just yet I don't have the materials for it which is not good but, um, yeah, for now, we're going to have to sort of, you know, uh, stink it out. Okay, so do I jump over to the woods or do I jump over to the harbour? I don't know if I want to do the harbour just yet. So let's just go over here and check it out and uh, see what's going on. Uh, let us jump in gotta, gotta find some berries or some food or something like that just so I can get some heal back up in me alright well nice little present to begin with that's always a good thing uh, yes let's take all of that absolutely and is that a player? that's a player ok I don't know how bad he's going to hit me that hard which is good okay good and I'll just take all what he has here comes a zombie okay so I'll just take some uh, bits and pieces over here I'm about to level up as well which is gonna be good so if I can take out a zombie or two before I die I think that's gonna help us out quite a bit so let's just go ahead and do that and hopefully the more that we scavenge around here, the, the more experience that we get. Is that how it works? It does. Oh, I wanted to take that cloth. Let's take the cloth. And if I... There we go. Level up. Okay, so you get a little bit of healing back, but you don't get quite a bit. Or a full amount of heal. So that's annoying. 
Okay, so we've got a couple of these zombies here. So, not, not a bad little zone so far. Um, okay, we've got this batter guy here. Oh, Jesus, there's a few of them. If we take you out. Alright. There's a few of these guys coming up out of nowhere. See, until I can get enough uh, resources for the shower, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find myself always, um, you know. Oh, jeez, that's like a spitter. And I've got, okay. So I've got to be very careful of that guy there. Can I hit him? Oh, Jesus! Get out of the way. Um, okay, so I don't think this is going to be good. Wow, okay. Um, yeah, I don't think this is going to be good for me. Let's see if I can get some heals up. Uh, that'll be really, really good. I think this is only just going to service water. Oh, no, 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 no. What am I doing? What's wrong? Oh, no. He's got to take a leak and I'm getting hit. Oh my god. Okay. This is not good. Not good at all. Look, there is a chest over there, but there's someone running at me and I... I oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Alright, so I just got myself out of there. Um, yeah, I'm definitely underprepared for this game. This is really not good. Not a great start. So you can tell I've never played this before. And um, yeah, I think that will heal my guy. Okay. Uh, healing factor here is not the greatest, um, I've noticed. So I'm going to go ahead and equip that. So yeah, guys, definitely let me know what is the ins and outs of this. Um, what should I be focusing on uh, healing wise? I think I'm going to have to make that a priority obviously and try and maximize my healing potential so if you guys have a, a good way of healing right off the bat or you know maximizing your health bar there yeah please let me know in the comment section because that's going to be a massive help to me um but otherwise yeah i'm going to leave it here for today i think i think we covered a little bit here sort of you know taking a bit of a bit of a showing tour here see a few events um nearly get killed multiple times so we got out alive, which was the main thing. But anyway, um, yeah, any tips, let me know in the comment section. Hit the like button. Let me know if you like this game, if you want me to continue playing it. Um, that'll be definitely helpful. So the more likes, the more that I know that you guys are more interested in the game. And otherwise, uh, yeah, like I said, comment down below. Hit the subscribe button, notification bell, all that sort of good stuff. I'm going to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.